Hello everyone, it's Trina here from thereisacardforthat.ca and today I'm going to be making two cards with the Let's Boca stamp set from Lawn Fawn and some Distress Oxide inks. So I'm starting out with a piece of heavyweight cardstock, 110 pounds, and I'm just sponging on randomly the Mermaid Lagoon and Squeezed Lemonade Distress Oxide inks. and just kind of playing around. It's kind of like when you make a galaxy background, how you just kind of splotch stuff on and everything looks like a hot mess, but uh, it'll look good afterwards. <laughs> um, I found a lot of times when you're not entirely sure that you like the background or anything like that, the best thing to do is just keep going with it because you can probably save it. So I'm just going over the two and I start with the Mermaid Lagoon in a couple of spaces and then I go in with the squeezed lemonade around it and then just to soften up those edges I'm very lightly going again with the Mermaid Lagoon to get that really pretty green color and I had said in the haul video when I got that card kit that like these two in the regular distress were my summer colors and it's the same like these two they just they're just so pretty <laughs> So what I'm doing now is I use my heat tool to kind of dry out the ink and I'm going to use the white pigment ink from close to my art, my heart, sorry, um, and the bokeh dots from the stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp over first and second generation all over the whole panel. And uh, while I was doing this card, I kind of discovered that adding these these bokeh dots was a lot like adding embellishments for me. Like, I probably could have stopped with, with the bigger ones here, but I did not. <laughs> I, just, I just couldn't stop myself. It was just getting so pretty. I'm like, oh, let's add some layers and some more here and some more there. And just some of them look really harsh right now um, but that's because the white pigment ink is still wet and it does dry a little bit more transparent when you layer it up of course then they're going to be a little more opaque um, but I just wanted a really bokeh-y <laughs> background <laughs> um, just lots and lots of dots and so what I had done is I had just put all of the solids onto my acrylic blocks, one on each side, and then I take the little one on my tiny little block, and then I'm just adding it all over the place. And this one I would put on top, and it really creates the illusion of depth because it's gonna be darker, so it's gonna look like it's um, closer, and they're smaller, so they also, um, when they're on top, they look like they're in front of the other dots. and. I'm like going back and forth and I'm like, oh, I should stop. But I just, I just couldn't like, here I am like one more, one more, just one more. I can't even help myself. So put that away. And then I'm going to take my heat tool to it again to dry off those dots. And that took, that took a little while. Um, and it was still a little bit tacky even at this point. Like what I probably should have done was left it for a couple hours and let it sit and do something else, but I had a bunch of other things that I that I had to do, so I wanted to get these two cards done. Um, and now I am taking a piece of black cardstock and cutting it at the same angle, and it is slightly larger than the panel that I had done the bokehs on, and then it's going to outline the bokeh panels. So both of the cards are going to be side folding standard A2 sized card bases out of the same 110 pound cardstock. And for the bokeh panel, I'm popping them both up on foam tape. Um, same foam tape from the dollar store. It's in the, in the picture or the hardware section. It's a mounting tape and it's like $1.25 a roll. It's so fantastic. <laughs> so I just cover the back so that it's got lots and lots of stability. And then I'm just going to put that on. If I were to redo this card, I think I probably would have made the black a little bit thicker because we're sitting at, I think, a sixteenth of an inch all the way around. Maybe. Math is hard right now. <laughs> it's been a really long day. <laughs> um, and I think I would have I would have wanted it to be a little bit wider for just a little bit heavier of an accent. Um, but it's still, it turned out 
pretty well. So we're kind of doing this assembly line style here, and that's why you get to see both the cards. Um, so like I said, they're both standard A2 size card bases, so four and a quarter by five and a half, and they're both going to be standing up like that. And I'm going to put one on the top and one on the bottom. And part of my greeting is going to be stamped with the Mermaid Lagoon ink. So I wanted to do that in my Misty just in case because sometimes with pigment inks it can look a little splotchy or you can get that a hard to find line on the edge of where the stamp stamps. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to do that in the Misty just to make sure it was straight. So the cheers to a happy birthday is also from the Let's Boca stamp set and the cheers is going to be in the Mermaid Lagoon just to make it just to make it a little pretty because it's a it's a fun card right like these are these are super fun and it, it's nice because they don't have to be the blue and the yellow into the green they could be yellow and red and into that beautiful coral color that we all know I like um so this is a design that I'll probably do again I probably won't do another video of it because now that you've seen it you just swap out the colors and it could be it could be anything but uh I really I really liked how it turned out and it's it's good. My aunt had asked me for a couple cards for um, birthdays that were masculine. And if you've read my blog, like, I have such a hard time with masculine cards. <laughs> like, all my stamp sets are unicorns and, and flowers, and they're so pretty, and they're so cutesy. And, I mean, baby guys like that. I don't know. Some guys do. But in my head... Guys are like, no, we want manly things, and I don't have a lot of manly stamps. <laughs> so I'm going to do the greeting the exact same way, except in the top corner for the second card, and it's also going to be stamped with the Mermaid Lagoon. And then the To a Happy Birthday is stamped with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Um, just because I had it out, it's not necessary. I wasn't doing any Copa coloring around it or anything like that. Uh, it's just kind of my go-to black ink because it sits out on my desk because normally I do a lot of stamping and coloring, right? Uh, not so much with this one. So it was kind of fun. So once those are down, then I am going to adhere the black and bokeh panels just with the tape runner. And this tape runner is from the dollar store as well. Um, in my last video, I think there was a different tape runner and it worked. I was just having some issues with it. So go back to, go back to the one I know. And then I'm going to adhere down the panel again on the second card. So that, I mean, the cards are the same, but they're different. So it could be like a series. <laughs> a whole series of, of Boca cards. How fun would that be? Um, I remember when I got this Boca set, it was, it was so fantastic. Um, for my embellishments, because I just, I just can't help myself, um, I'm using some Pretty Pink Posh in Sea Glass and Lemon Drop. Um, the Lemon Drop matches the squeezed lemonade so beautifully. Like I was super, super happy with that. So I'm just putting down some multimedia matte from Ranger and adhering down the crystals with my little toothpick DIY quick stick tool. Uh, still the same one that you've seen through all of my previous videos. Like these things just, they just last forever. And I'm going to do that for both cards. Um, ideally, the color for blue that I would have taken would have, preferred to choose would have been the Ocean Waves by Studio Cadia, um, but still having a few issues getting my hands on the replacement package. Um, I had ordered some and it was missed and so I emailed a few times and then they had finally got back to me and I let you guys know about that and um, that was a little while ago now. <laughs> so I emailed back again to say, hey, I haven't actually received those gems that you said you were going to ship out as a replacement, um, but I did ask for tracking information because it could be a Canada Post issue, and I will do that. So these are the two cards for today, 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and comment. I love reading the comments so much. I get so excited when they come in. I will have links to my blog and my Facebook page down below. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Bye.